Hi, Home Barista with me again, Stephanus from Ace Home Barista. Now this, today, I would like to share with you my experience in comparing between these two grinders. A lot of you have asked me, especially a lot of the lead lovers, they are curious how it is to compare with Eureka Mignon Specialita. And so I hope this video will answer your questions. But if it doesn't, at least it will somehow help you to decide better which one that you want. Now remember, the aim of this video is not to decide which one is better from the other one. This is basically just to give you some facts, some of my experience, and for you to decide on your own. All right, let's go. Okay, round one is the display and timer. As you can see, Specialita has a nice, cute display, which is LCD touch screen. I really love it. It's so responsive. The lead, you can see the lead logo version and an old vintage grinder. It means it's ready. So in terms of functionality, both of them having the same program. Uh, you have two presets that you can set your timer for each preset. However, in the lead, you gotta go into a deep, uh, a sub um, menu, and then you can change from there. However, in Specialita, so straightforward, you just press one or two, and then you just increase or reduce its timer. So easy. Both of them having the same interval, 0 0.1 second. So you can having a quite precise time as you wish. So I got to give this round to Specialita. Round two, grander adjustment. Now, as you know, Lilit William is using a step grinder it's it has having step one two three one and a half two a lot of people don't like this and we certainly like stepless grinder so in this round we definitely will go for specialita however why there is step grinder out there since the longest because we want to keep the setting there fixed doesn't move while in stepless it can move as time goes by and do check in the description below there is already some modification that we can do to make the step become smaller from one to two we can have four clicks or we can even remove the whole balls inside the bearing ball and to make this a step plus grinder however not sure about that now in specialita it has stepless grinder and you can change and adjust your grind setting as small or as minimal as you want which is I think everybody likes this more round three the sound you want to know which one is louder am I right <laughs> Yep, Lilit certainly having higher pitch. Round four, speed. Now we can try two and a half seconds on each grinders, grinder, and we can see how many grams each grinder produce. On Specialita, two and a half seconds, three and a half grams. And on PL72, it is 5.2 now you must know that the sound and the speed is very much affected by the power of its motor on specialita it is only 310 watts 
while in PL72 is 470 watts. But do we really need it to be fast at home? Well, probably PL72 is a semi-commercial grinder. Round 5, retention. Now, let's go and empty our hopper. Before that, I would like to explain to you, Specialita has 300 grams capacity of hopper and PL72 is 350 grams. It's slightly bigger. Now we want to see what is the retention. To make it as real as possible, I'm going to weigh 18 grams of coffee, just like how we normally brew our daily coffee, around 18. Some of you, 21, 22, but I will just go for 18. So it's 18 gram on both sides. Let's see how it goes. I just want to make sure it's empty. And let's weigh it at 17.9. 17.9 grams. Isn't that not bad at all, really? And now Specialita. seconds let me just run it once again to make sure it's empty yep that's way 17.9 dude these two machines are not really not bad at all for the first time it's a tie wow round six grind result now first of all you must know that specialita is using 55 millimeter flat burr so does size matter? Maybe. Maybe yes, maybe not. Now in PL72, we are using 64 millimeter flat burr. It's quite a good comparison of flat burr. And I think PL72 has slight better result. Anyway. It's for you to decide as well. Does size matter? Maybe it does, in some extent. Now what about the look? There is no scoring here. I just want to show you the height, width, and depth comparison of the two grinders. Go ahead and pause and have a look again. Measure it in your kitchen top which one suit you best. Now what I like the most is that it is already widely available on how to modify it as a single dosing grinder. While in PL72, nobody seems to explore this. In Specialita, we have the ability to remove its fork to place a container if we want to grind filtered coffee. In PL72, it is a fixed fork. We can't remove it as it is not designed to be removed at all. The only problem I have with Specialita is after grinding, most of the time, it's a bit messy. Coffee grounds are all over the place. Therefore, I would like to use dosing ring. And this is where the problem is. There is a slight problem with the design because there is the plastic thing that protruding out get in the way and we can't press that button to activate the grinder now take take note in specialita there is no other buttons on top or any switch to activate the grinder so you have to move you have to remove its fork then you can press it you can reach there and to use it again this shouldn't be a problem if you like to use a dosing cup like the one from niche zero this should able to solve your problem but this is just not me i prefer it to go straight into my porta filter even even the niche zero user are trying to modify it to go directly into porta filter in pl72 we have plenty of rooms for dosing ring 
and we have adjustable coffee shoot to make sure that we have a nice pyramid in our porta filter and having a tray is a small plus but really nice to have and as you can see it can attach by magnet before i go let me show you how big is the burr size different now we have 55 millimeter and 64 millimeter there they actually quite a big different in my opinion 64 millimeter is like a commercial grade grinder standard it's almost like 58 millimeter group head you know if you want to compare with 57 millimeter and 64 millimeter burr is widely used and available if you are looking for replacement so don't take my words for granted see you on the next video on how i dial in with both grinder and i will give my final conclusion ciao